Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Ju- <laughs> and we're back. Welcome back, issue 25, part 2, our horror extravaganza. Yep, just in time for Halloweens. As always, I'm Big B. Brian Adams, joined by my co host, Junior, co host of Comics Remixed. And our special guest from the 101, Carry the Camera Guy. So, anyway, you were saying the uh, Universal Horror movies. The Universal Horror movies, uh, you know, I mean, they still hold up uh, it, for what they are. I mean, obviously not a lot of splatter, and they couldn't show the things that they show now. It was a lot more but suspense. It was suspense. It was good storytelling, and you look at those sets and those actors, and I mean, those were those were great. And not only that, what what people may or may not realize is if it, those movies started special effects. I mean, the, you know, Nosferatu. I mean, the, uh, uh, Metropolis. These were early, you know, special effects. The uh, and the people who. Love these monster movies, so you know, called the monster. Yeah, that became Monster Kids because they came out with toys and right, models. Right. I mean, this is this was a big deal. I mean, these monster movies started the trend. Yeah, you know? they, I, don't, they don't call them classics for no reason, right? right? You know, well, I mean, they <clears throat> they started monster magazines because they didn't exist, and all of a sudden, this whole new genre came out with these really elaborate at the time special effects, and kids wanted to go, "Wow, how do I do that?" Uh, you know, Lucas was a was a monster kid. Uh, Spielberg was it a makes monster. Makes me wonder kid. if Romero was big into the Universal movies. I'm sure, because you could almost look at it as uh, how well, kind of like when you did your Lovecraft uh, episode. It's more like there's a root, and it all just kind of stems from there. So I would, in, in terms of the monster movies and stuff, I would think that the root would be the Universal stuff. Absolutely. You yeah. know, and then I think you know where you get when we're talking about the shitty teenage movies the, of the '80s. And the comical types. I think a lot of that is fans of like the Ed Wood type of, of horror movies and sci-fi well, movies that come out. Like he, in the 50s. he was either that, or they took they, they saw a successful formula, which is very common of Hollywood. Said we can do that, and they couldn't. Yeah. I mean, the ones that worked worked. The original Friday the Thirteenth mm-hmm. worked because of what it was in, in, in the context of what it was. The original Halloween, and we were talking about this. One of my favorites, uh, early John Carpenter stuff. If you go back and watch that movie. People don't realize this. If you go back and watch that movie now, there is not one drop of blood in that movie. It's really? all suspense. Watch it, is it, watch it now. Yeah, I have to. He told me that there earlier. Is, like, I there is, that there is not a single drop of blood. It's all camera angles, lighting, and suspense. Hmm. That movie works. Wow. I, I never knew that. You know, and then, once again, I think, and then, you know, the 80s, you know, then it became with the 80s. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's add some more effects, and let's see what we can do with it. But then it just became let's exploit these effects. Uh, a great it became seventies grindhouse. Right. <laughs> well, but there, once again, it has its place. Yeah. But if it's done right with a good script, the thing, John. Once again, John Carpenter. You want to see sp- awesome Those special effects movies. in the context with 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 just everything that you could use at that time. That movie's fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna throw out some movie titles that sure. I can think of, and I want you guys to tell me what you think, like where it stands terms of today, whether it's a classic, whether it's a dud, or what have you. First, we'll go with the Halloween series. What do you guys think? Well, when you say, well, see, you, see, you said series. So, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the series. Because the series was rebooted, and, and at some point in the, the original, original series, series, not the Rob Zombie okay, bullshit. In the original series, in my opinion, those first two movies are fucking gold. But then when you get to like three, four, five... Six. Right. And, and so with these with Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy, or excuse but, me, Friday Thirteenth and Halloween, you think they took them too far? They just milked the, the hell out of them. What they were, they, were, they all went into like six, seven they, films. What happened was you would, you would once again, you get gold, you get that, that, yeah. you get that first Halloween, and it's great. And they left it open, so you go, okay, I can follow this up with a halfway decent story. After that, it just becomes exploitation of money. Right. So there, there's no script. That's, we're going to throw Michael Myers in why? Because Michael Myers sells. That name sells, and like you said, TNA. Sells people will pay money to this. Fuck. Now yeah. that I think about it, Halloween three wasn't even Michael Myers. It was no. season of the witch, and it doesn't even count. And it has in. nothing to do and, with those first and movies I at all. And I, I hate to think it. You know, this stuff is as a series. Although I know they turned them into, but originally, I mean, there was no thought of. Wasn't hey, there Busta like, Rhymes in one of them? Who knows? Wasn't it like an H two O? Probably. I didn't see that one. Ooh, huh. I stopped watching it after like four or five. Yeah. Hours so I mean, once again. 
once you, you get that great original, and then maybe if it needs a follow-up or you have a good idea for follow-up, great. After that, to me, it's just exp you're yeah. just exploiting it. Okay, so you guys would pretty much say the same thing with, like I said, Nightmare on Elm Street Absolutely. and uh, uh, Friday the 13th, pretty much Absolutely. the same thing. Absolutely. First, the first, the original, and then maybe a follow-up, maybe two follow-ups if you if you got it. Okay. I honestly think the first Nightmare on Elm Street, they could have they stopped right there. Okay. I think once you get into two or three, like the well, two, two doesn't stuff, even count. It's just like, uh, and three, three was watchable, but it wasn't great. It was see when I was growing up, my mom, because like I said, she's a big fan. She would tell me three was the absolute scariest one. So I always refused but, uh, see, to watch and, three. And I didn't watch them for scary. I watched them for the story. If it happened to be scary, well, see, growing up, that was one. Right. Growing up, that is the one fucking movie that scares the living piss out of me. Next to like The Exorcist. Is See, now that's Nightmare. that's the yeah, Exorcist. That's the truth that, fighting movie. Next that's to right. like the Exorcist, Nightmare on Elm Street. That whole series is what fucking scared the shit out of me growing up. But for some reason, I was always like, I had to watch it at least once just to say, well, I fucking hated them. I, to this day, I still won't watch those fucking things. But growing like I, that's why like the comedy came in and shit because I noticed later on it got funnier and funnier, and he was more like a comedian. And I was just like, what? But then they got into a story that I saw later on they started talking about the history and his daughter and why he did it and everything like you know I was just like okay but what about that horrible atrocious one where it's all about him becoming real and then oh, the new nightmare the actors yeah. that played in the movie it was, right. that was fucking horrible. I remember seeing that and then him versus Freddy it's like oh. and also to you, you I mean you, you took a Friday the 13th or a, a, a whatchamacallit um, nightmare and I mean that and the actresses are two completely yeah. Right. I but mean, you're see, no, no, no. Right. Freddy, I watched growing up. Right. This guy scared the living piss out of me. I still remember dreams I had as a child. I don't know how many people actually do that, but there's dreams I remember having about fucking Freddy Krueger that scared the living okay. piss well, out of me. In, in that case, I would you, wake you, up fucking in cold sweats. You need to watch sleeping the with the fucking lights on. No, see, mm -hmm. a couple of years, early two thousands. When they released the Exorcist movies on DVD, the girl I was living with at the time, she was like, I want to watch them. I says, you know what? Fuck it. Let's watch them. So I went out to Walmart, and I bought them. And we went home. We couldn't get through the first one. There is only one. that you The first know. one, I think we turned it off when the bitch was running down the stairs. It's spider. A, it's a, it's we were just like, we're fucking done. Right. We had all the lights on. We're like, we're done. I turned the fucking movie off. I gave them to my mom. I said, you can have all of them. I don't fucking want them. Take these things out of my fucking house. Which brings me to my next thing here. Now, I'll, go ahead. Go ahead. Did you not like the movies, or they creeped you out? I was scared shitless. Okay, but, but, but then it did its job. Yeah, of that, course. And, and then the that's, story that, that's what I'm saying, what brings me to this. I would almost rather watch, as much as I hate the monsters and slasher flicks, I'd almost rather watch that than watch the stuff that deals with demons and, well, and that's hell your, that's your thing. and all this other stuff, like exorcist and shit. Because in my eye, like growing up Catholic and going to church right. every Sunday, that's it's, a lot fucking scary. It's more realistic. Exactly. Right. Exactly, because you go to church and they teach you that the, the evil things exist. Even though, like I said, or told you off right. recording earlier, I personally don't believe in that. But when you have somebody of authority, like a, a preacher... Or your parents telling you, yeah, you know, this exists, this is in the Bible. It tends to get real to a point, and you're just like, this probably can fucking happen. So well, then you've had people that have claimed to have had it happen too, right? Whereas claim, Jason, you can't really claim. Claim that exactly. Happens. So, which brings me to my next series. What do you guys feel of paranormal activity? I won't. That's one for me that I once again I haven't seen them, so I can't comment on that. It's just to me the idea doesn't appeal to me. Once again, going back to. I like monsters and seeing a you know a ghost or things flying around or so you don't think that yeah I was gonna say you don't think that the illusion of there's something there but we're not showing you what's there you leave that it up to your imagination does that doesn't nothing. fuck with you even no doesn't, doesn't not you either not a thing. I, I saw paranormal we just, activity we were just talking about that and I was talking about alien movies I watched this alien movie <laughs> and like they reference all this crazy weird shit and there's all this creepy stuff but at the same time they never give you like I want it. I want to see that shit. Okay. I don't want alluding to. Okay. You know, I want the big bad. Did you ever watch the first Paranormal Activity? No. Those no. aren't for me, dude. See, I watched, I went to the theater with my daughter's mother, and we had heard so much about this. It was all the rage when it first came out. It was everywhere, you know? So it was like, we've got to go watch this fucking movie. Why not? You know, I hate more horror movies. She hates horror movies. Let's go have fun, you know? I don't remember if she was pregnant at the time. I honestly don't. She, I have to ask her. So... We're sitting there, and luckily my sister had saw the movie. Like I said, my sister's a big horror person. So she saw the movie, and she's texting me every five minutes 
She's like, what part are you at right now? Oh, this part. Okay. She's like, at about 30 seconds, look away from the screen. So I'm like, all right. So I look away, and then the rest of the audience would fucking scream. I'm like, what? What did I miss? So I watched the entire movie like that. And then the whole time, my girl's getting up, like, standing up in the theater, screaming, let's get the fuck out of here, let's go. And everybody's laughing, because you had other people jumping up and trying to leave the fucking movie theater. So at first, I'm just, like, embarrassed, but then I was just like, no, this is funny. So, I don't in, in, in my term, movies like that, that have to deal with demons and, and things that are more kind of realistic, to quote-unquote, those scare me a lot fucking more than anything, which I tend to avoid. It, it, some of the cheesiest shit was, um, what was the other movie I saw? Drag Me to Hell. Did you the yeah, Sam Raimi movie? The Sam Raimi, yeah. That was just genius. Did you watch that? The fucking goat, dude. That shit cracked me up. That was funny. And then you knew if you watched Spider Man three, you didn't even have to be like, wait, who directed this movie? You knew because they had a oh, dancing no. fucking demon. But you know what? That's that's Sam Raimi's, you know, thing. That is his e- style. Evil what? Dead. Make people dance. No, the, no well, just the just the, the, the camera comedy yeah. of it. But that movie spooked me too. That fucking old lady. Cause really? I was I was in the basement, man. I got an active imagination. I'm going home. Kitchen's pitch black. I gotta walk downstairs to the fucking basement, and the light switch. See, like there's a light switch at the very top of the stairs. There's one at the very bottom of the stairs, and then I have one in my living room. But the one in the living room, it's a string. You have to pull on the ceiling. Then I got one in the bedroom. Same thing, string. I taped up the one at the top and the one at the bottom because they were the simultaneous. Like if you hit one, the other switch it would turn on automatically. And if you're at the bottom and you need to turn them on, they'd all turn on. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna tape them up. I walk down the stairs, hit the light. So I have that imagination that as soon as I click on that light, there's gonna be something right in my fucking face. So I'm like pissed scared. I got my fucking cell phone out, doing this and shit, waiting to be like, la la la, Spider Man poster, Alex Ross artwork, scary old lady. And doing one of those, you know, like, that's my imagination. The human imagination is a motherfucker. So it scared the fucking piss out of me. Dude, I used to be fucking scared of Goro from Mortal Kombat. That's how fucking sad it is. That's, that's pretty pathetic. It is. And I'm, I'm telling you, I have the imagination. The way my bed was set up, like, my feet were facing my living room. And I had to put a curtain there once the baby was born. But before that, there was no curtain. And it was like, go around. So I would sit there at night and just... Imagine somebody just turning the corner and be like, hey, 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 hey. and it scared the fucking piss out of Could me. Could you imagine his sister with the friendly glove? Oh, oh, that little what? fucking. Oh, the Can you imagine that? That'd be awesome. Oh, she'd get kicked in the face. <laughs> she tried some shit like I that. Said, I said, you poop yourself first. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck that. Dude, let me tell you a story, okay? One day, this was maybe yeah, about. It's going to become story time. It's story time. I was going to a story coming out of my side. Yeah, I mean, he brought it up. He, he kind of started it. Um. <laughs> Couple, I don't remember. It had to be about five years back now, maybe a little longer. Um, my sister's in the shower or whatever. I'm like, hurry up. I got to get ready. I'm going out, you know, just, I'm just living a simple life. This is going. <laughs> no, no, no. So she gets out of the bathroom. She's like, all right, go ahead. Go in. I'm like, cool. So I go in the bathroom. I lock the door, everything, you know, taking a shower. I'm done with the shower. I get out, you know, it's hot. Steam on the window. Steam on the fucking mirror. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I just stared at it. I was like, "That's awesome." As calm as day, I was like, "You little bitch!" <laughs> and she must have been listening through the door because her room was on the other side. She just fucking busts out laughing. That's awesome. I was like, "You fucking bitch." We were, uh, I was probably like sixteen. I think my sister was probably like twelve or thirteen. We we're hanging out in the graveyard with a buddy of ours. Coming to get you, and she walked right. off. See that right there, and like, I right. to me. I was like, I wouldn't do it. A, because you're a fucking stupid ass. Yeah. You're like, okay, you watch all these things, you know. Totally. But it's then it's also a sign. Baby, but it's also like, a sign in my like, like I said, the way I was bringing you, you respect the dead. Uh, you know, it's like that's their resting spot. You let them rest. You don't fucking. It you was, don't bother them. It was them. close to the neighborhood. Figured cops aren't going to come fuck with you in the graveyard. Oh yeah. But anyway, my sister walks up by herself. I'm telling my friend Steve, I'm like, watch this dude. Brains. Brains, dude, and that bitch took off fucking one, and it was the funniest shit I ever saw. I can, I can think it was like I said, the original. Do- the coming to get you, Margaret. Yeah, the coming to get you, Barbara. I do that to Melissa. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. 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 She's no. awesome. Okay, the, the, um, let me see some more horror fucking things. What did you get? Did you guys ever watch Candyman? Yeah, it don't care. Stupid. You want? I mean, if you want to talk about good stuff, once again, the, the good stuff is the stuff. That you I'm doing about what I remember because uh, I know you guys watched a lot of horror. Mo- uh, I'm pretty sure. So a million more shit. times than I have. So, so I'm throwing shit. things out that you, that I know. We won't recommend stuff to you. No, well, you don't have okay. to because I won't fucking watch it. The Shining. Oh, I've watched that. The Shining's great, man. I've it's watched that. Kid. To me, that's not a horror movie. That's more psychological. Movie. See, there's certain things I will watch. Cre- those creepy yeah, girls. Those creepy, creepy girls. It's a creepy. The creepy movie. old woman in the bathtub. Yep. There's certain things I will watch. 
like fucking child's play. I love fucking child's play. Well, that that's, that goes back to the that goes yeah. back. To I the have 80s. a life size Chucky doll. Well, well, but that goes back. To it's the about the 80s, size of ET here. The eighties, you know, thing. But the first one wasn't made to be comedic. No, and it. And it I fucking love it. All, it has it has its moments. You know, they released a new one. Of course they did. No, 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 but it's not right. the cheesy. They it's kind of it's by the same writer, right. same director, but it's a relaunch. Right. It's like the dark it's still aspect. Trying to start it over. Yeah, very spooky. You know, very right. no jokes. Well, once again, a lot of oh, Curse of Chucky. It's actually a lot, of, just came a lot out. of the eighties stuff. Once again, I think it was it wasn't so much horror as it was it was a comic book. It was, it was you know, spectacle. Yeah, it, well, it was spectacle. Or once again, here's your bad guy. Here's your good guy. Right. Whatever. I don't think they well, necessarily the they, they didn't necessarily go for the for the creepiness factor. One of my one of my all time favorite movies. I actually like the the remake was uh, Fright Night. I I love that movie because I love the idea. Awesome. Now what he, the, the remake had what's his name Colin Farrell in it, right? Yeah, and and he and they did a good job with that yeah, too. Yeah, time it was Nelson. actually yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, I have some classic ones. Poltergeist. Pol- Poltergeist was great. Poltergeist was the first. Yeah. Great. The After that. But that's uh, all that matters. No, that first yeah, one. It's, it's and once again, that goes back to you. You got that creep factor. You mm-hmm. know, it's just there was some creepy shit right. going on in there. We all remember fucking going to sleep with the TV on, little wake up. And <sighs> once you saw that movie, it was like, "Fuck you, TV." <laughs> <laughs> um, recently it came out. Uh, not I don't mean recently, like in the last year, but uh, the Ring. I never saw those. I heard they're kind of creepy, but I, I don't. You're know. shaking your head. Why it was crap? Was it? It was crap. It was, no. it was all, to me from what I because I, I watched one of them I think if I remember right it was like okay you watch there's a videotape of a girl dying or something like that if it's a cursed tape right. if, if you, you watch the it, tape then the, the girl rings yeah and the girl's gonna come get you and it, it reminded me of Poltergeist because the TV like the same right. shh and then the girl comes out of the TV to actually get you the girl in the well or she climbs out of the well and then yeah she shows up in your living room that's yeah a, you're like bitch I turned the TV off that's a whole different style too that Japanese horror is yeah, a whole that's, that's that style on its own. So what happens though if it's like, I don't know because like I said I, I think I watched them I don't even remember what happens though if the timing is okay this bitch is supposed to come get me right now but you got a house full of fucking people you know what I mean you're like comes get you yeah. are you yeah. gonna get your friend everybody or she's gonna be like all right well, motherfucker I'll shoot you back I got you oh well, yeah that's why the writers never put you in a situation like that see and they should you know that's why black people are always talking about how they're never in the Friday Thirteenth movies because they would live. With the exception of that black guy that gets his head knocked off in Manhattan. But isn't it, what do they say about horror movies? Uh, the black guy is always the first to die. If they're in it, that's what I heard growing up. They're like the black guy is always the first to fucking die in a horror movie. They even say it a lot. A black comedian say it in like in stand ups and shit. They're like, that's why we don't fucking fuck like, with horror honestly, movies. Honestly, dude, any horror movie you've seen, if you want to get realistic with it, the first time something fucked up happens, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm out the door. Oh I'm yeah, gone. and I ain't going by myself. <laughs> Someone's coming with me. I would, that's, that's I would agree. Right. That's that's you know like. I don't get it. And me, as a Hispanic, now I don't feel like I'm, I have to throw that out there so I don't feel like I'm being racist here. Black people are always the first to die. White people are the dumbasses. Because the black guy, he dies. So he doesn't get a fucking chance to fucking do what he wants. He's dead. You know, he gets no say. Poor him. But then the white guy is always just like, oh my God, there's blood dripping from the walls. Yeah. Like, we gotta figure out what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we gotta here. check this out. We need a plumber. You yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that <laughs> blood coming from? Yeah. Gee golly, we need to... F- fuck you! Leave! Yep. you think that'd be your first thing. Blood? What? Well, but Why? I think Eddie, Eddie Murphy had, had said it best. You know, the Amityville Horror is his take on that. You know, he pulls up to the house. You know, oh, we love this house. Get out. Too bad we can't buy it. Yep. Do you, you know? Yep. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I, I just... It, it's, once again, it's part of the genre. It's part of the, the formula. It's so you think it's because people like having... The, the reason horror movies are around is because people like to have that fear. They like to be scared. I, I think I think so. I think there's a thrill there. It's like an adrenaline rush. Oh, that I agree with, because I remember my heart beating, my stomach hurting, me wanting to take a the shit. endorphins bust through your brain. Yeah, you're, you're like... You're a natural high. <laughs> motherfucker, go get me. You know, and it's just like... And also, and also, I think you know maybe there's I, and if you go with buddies enough, there's a laugh afterwards. Going, oh fuck, I got scared in a movie. I mean, I remember, yeah, and then they laugh at you the whole time. Well, like, but no, you're all bitch. laughing at each other. You know, and, and, and what's I still remember Halloween the first time that you know that came out on videotape mm-hmm. because you know that was the big thing at a Halloween party with you know a bunch of guys. I don't remember how old I was at the time. Just petrified. Why we could turn the goddamn thing off watching this thing at somebody's house? Go, ah. Yeah. You know, I mean, there was something to it. You know, that kind of That's, stuff. Uh, I remember the first time I watched Evil Dead. The first, the original. No, two, two. Yeah. The first one, yeah, because it's not really the first the time. The first one is a horror movie. This yeah. is fucking creepy. 
and then the slapstick came in, and it was laugh fucking the whole time, and then that like became like near and dear to my heart. So it's like, well, it is definitely fun, but I mean, the first one is a horror movie. Yeah, I couldn't get over that chick getting raped by the tree. That was part of the horror movie. That kind of disturbed me. When I was yeah. young, like women being defiled by shit, I couldn't. Yeah, something just crossed me as wrong. But now it's okay. No, it's okay. Well. No, 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 dude, go <laughs> for it. Go well, ahead, tree hugging yeah. hipper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just I don't. I remember being uh, like I said, my whole thing was Nightmare on Elm Street. My cousin used to have uh, he had all those on VHS. He also had the Ghostbusters. He had some of the older WrestleManias, you know. <laughs> so I remember, no, no, no. I remember going to his fucking house, man. Ghostbusters and WrestleMania. Check this out. I remember going to his fucking house. Horror. And, the horror. For reals. No, I mean, I fucking love Ghostbusters. This motherfucker, man, back then, this is his crib. You know, you don't touch shit that's not yours. It's somebody else's house. VHS cases. He, I was like, dude, let's watch fucking Ghostbusters. He's like, wouldn't you rather watch WrestleMania? And it was three, the one where Log- uh, Hogan slams Andre. I'm like, no, nah, dude, I want to watch fucking Ghostbusters, you know? Ghostbusters was the shit. We had the Proton. Well, he had the Proton pack that I tried to steal. But he had that shit. So I was like, all right, cool. He's like, all right, you really want to watch Ghostbusters? I'm like, yes, man, throw that shit in. Let's do it. Fucking throws in Ghostbusters. We're sitting there. As soon as he fucking presses play, Freddy comes on the screen like, ah! Because he had that motherfucker nice. in place knowing I was going to want to watch it. That's awesome. So, awesome. oh, dude, I fucking chased his ass. He's, he's a year older than me, but I've always been physically bigger than him. I fucking chased his ass around the apartment, and we both got our asses whooped. I was like, I don't even want to stay here the whole fucking weekend through a tantrum and shit. Got him in trouble the whole rest of the weekend. Fuck you, don't fuck with me, man. <laughs> now, with the horror genre today, it's just went to shit. I was talking on the way over here, the last horror movie I thought was worth a crap was From the Mouth of Madness. That's a long one. That's a look that's And it's old, and it's like mid-90s. But awesome movie, awesome. But uh, yeah, even nothing. the zombie movies, the zombie movies in the eighties took a weird turn into comedy. So, well, that it was, was like that uh, was Return of the Night of the Living Dead. That was that was well, yeah, Return of the Living Dead. But that was the staple of the eighties. Was you know we're not going to really try and scare you with a few exceptions. But you know what? There's more money in making people laugh with monsters rather than actually scaring them. Uh, and then and then once again, once you got the eighties, I, I don't know, I can't think of anything. Maybe, well, you got Return of the Living Dead, or um, Dawn of the Dead in the 90s. Wasn't that 90s? Or mm-hmm. was it 2000? What, Leprechaun? Did like, you guys think of Leprechaun? Crap, well, well, what's the, the, the original, not was, like the crap. Leprechaun well, in the that, hood. That's that's that airs 80s. on BT all the time. That's, that's that 80s. You yeah. know what? Let's was that 80s? Like, yeah, let's make it. Was uh, it 80s? I thought it was early 90s. I don't know, but it, it's the same same formula. Let's get yeah, a creepy no, character and just have him kill shit. And that's kind of. If it works for you, it works for you. I mean, if the story works for you, great. Yeah, no. I did appreciate the zombies in those Return of the Night of the Living Dead. Those were great. Like, you know, send more paramedics. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> like, well, that, that was that was that was fun. Still. It was still creepy. Yeah. I mean, it, it 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 was a good time. But yeah, modern modern horror. I haven't. I personally haven't seen anything that I particularly care for. No. Have you tried to watch any of those movies? You say don't do it for you. Like some of the more recent ones. I, like I, you know, there might be one or two I might pull up. But once again, if I don't, if I'm not interested in that in that idea. I, I Have you tried to it. get into it? The only one like one I, of these movies that, like I said, maybe no, a spiritual demon type thing. You're no, just like kind of creepy. Doesn't doesn't okay. appeal to me. Okay. You want the payoff? You want to see something to freak you out? Watch the the Exorcism of Emily Rose. I heard that was fucked that up. Movie's fucking creepy. But, okay, <laughs> how much now? Real quick, because I know we're running out of time. When a lot of these horror movies come out now, is it just a selling tag where they're like, oh, based on a true story, based on a true story? I noticed a lot of horror movies had that tag now. I, I, I think so. Probably. Like, is the story true? Because I told I, you the story, so you would have made a movie off of it? a society who's obsessed with reality TV. Okay. Therefore, it's easier for these students to be like, oh, it's based on a true story. And I make you like, oh, shit. Like, and Blair somebody could make maybe a well, fake wiki well, page. Okay. Blair Witch, dude. I was so invested in wanting to see Blair Witch. It was bad. Like, I was doing research and watching. Like, I watched this special about it. And the way they had presented that movie before it came out was, fucking this genius. shit's real. Fucking genius. And I was like, holy shit, I want to fucking see this. And then I didn't go see it when it came out. And immediately when it came out, Man Cow was saw in the air in Chicago. And he was like, oh, fucking stupid Blair Witch is just fucking fake bullshit movie. And then that's what I heard from everybody. And then I got pissed off, so I've never seen that movie. i seen it. You know what? It was stupid. It, it's, so. it's not great, but here. Here's the problem with that movie. The, it did what it was supposed to do. It, it got people interested. And it, it got those asses in the seats right, right. away. Right. Well, what? But that's before they 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 should. After that movie had been out in theaters, when they should have come out and said, "No, it's not real." Yeah. Because 
up until that point, fucking brilliant marketing. Oh, fucking, yeah. fucking brilliant. brilliant. You know, yeah. this, 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 you know, that shaky camcorder that we found in the fucking woods. I'm telling you, if they had stuck to that story until afterwards, people would be, that that movie would have been great. The problem was people went in knowing, okay, this is bullshit, and at that point you're not as vested in the story simply because because of the way it's shot. Yeah. The, you know, it, it, it made sense. There's the another co- movie they did like that that yeah. pissed me off, actually. It made sense in the context that you know this is this is how we found the footage and this is why it is uh, that it is. But once they said no, you know this is fake, then you're like, well, why the fuck am I watching this low budget yeah, production? Totally. And that that's what killed it. It was that J.J. Abrams film. Yeah, no, it's Cloverfield. 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 I never yeah. saw it, so I don't know if it's good or bad. It's like no, it was it's a, giant it was, monsters. Yeah, like Godzilla type fucking monsters and shit like that. Yeah. But you know what really got me like was uh, I go back to it, Paranormal Activity, the scenes I did see. Like there's just some of the shit that they did in this movie. Like um, the guy decides to put up like microphones or some shit. He's like, all right, you know, we're gonna leave it while we sleep. They had a hidden camera because the girl was being haunted or whatever in her dreams. And so he's like, all right, we'll see what happens while we sleep. You know, so they show footage. He leaves microphones out or and whatever. So he opens up his computer program to check the, the sounds. Dude, he's using Audacity. Nice. And I was like, I have that fucking program. I went home and deleted that program. <laughs> I was like, fuck this. But he, they, Audacity, like, they picked it up. And, like, awesome. there's some shit. Like, the whole time, like, sometimes they'll have the camera, like, fast forward the footage uh-huh. or whatever. The whole time they're sleeping, nothing happens. The next night, maybe something happens. The fucking blanket just gains, gets yanked off of him and he just pulls it over. He's still asleep. You know, doesn't think anything. Just small shit. There's one where uh, they felt, she said she felt like there was a presence standing over her while she slept. So that night, he put baby powder all over the fucking bedroom floor. The next night, they woke up, and there's these weird fucking footprints all over the floor and shit. That goes back to the, uh, the, you know, the, the ghost stories. You know, uh, you know the, it was the just... The children pushing the bus. It was just very... Oh, I heard that story over wherever the fuck uh-huh. that is. Go ahead and tell it. This is a Halloween. Go ahead. Well, I, I, wait, I don't, do we still have time? No, we'll come back. Wait, wait, wait. I want to know. Yeah, you can, you can knock it out if you can do it in less than a minute. We'll yeah. come back to it. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back to it. <laughs> Those stories we're coming gonna, up next. We're going to go for fucking for, for part three or twenty. Part three. This is the Halloween extravaganza, folks. Enjoy it, guys. Nice. So for uh, issue 25, part two, I'm co-host of Comics Remix Jr. alongside co-host of Spinner Act, Big B, Brian Adams, and Carrie the Camera Guy, host of the 101. So we'll see you guys here back here in part three where we continue this Halloween horror extravaganza. Have fun, folks. <laughs> <laughs>